Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief Headlines Edition. All the AI headline news you need in around five minutes. We kick off today with a follow-up from a story from yesterday. In the main part of our episode yesterday, we did a whole section on all the various OpenAI news, including their release of what they call the model spec. Now, the idea of this model spec was to make it clearer to people which behaviors that they were seeing in ChatGPT were supposed to be there versus which behaviors were genuinely outside and were not supposed to be there. I had given some of the first level impressions, but in the hours following publishing, people started to hone in on one particular little section. When discussing how ChatGPT should respond, one of the prerogatives OpenAI listed was not to respond with not safe for work content, which OpenAI said included erotica, extreme gore, slurs, and unsolicited profanity. Now, the commentary that OpenAI included with that was, we believe developers and users should have flexibility to use our services as they see fit, so long as they comply with our usage policies. We're exploring whether we can responsibly provide the ability to generate NSFW content in age-appropriate contexts through the API and ChatGPT. We look forward to better understanding user and societal expectations of model behavior in this area. Of course, the way that this has been captured in headlines is like this one from First Post. ChatGPT maker OpenAI now wants to make ethical and responsible porn, exploring ways to do it. I read it slightly differently. Basically, this is an obvious capacity of AI. In fact, it's one that has a lot of people worried. Deepfake porn of real people has been already a huge issue, and we're only just getting started. At the same time, basically every new technology goes through a period where people try to figure out how it can be used for porn. And so it's not like there's no financial incentive for OpenAI to explore this. I think the most telling phrase is societal expectations of model behavior in this area, as in I wouldn't expect OpenAI to be on the vanguard of this, but nor do they want to cut themselves off from future possibilities. I actually think Andy at Nexuist on Twitter isn't totally far off when they characterize this as the how do we eat character AI play. Character AI is an extremely popular AI service where people are spending hours every day talking with different characters, some real, some totally imagined from scratch, some based on real historical figures. And of course, these conversations are not all innocent. Anyway, I think it's an interesting sub story added to the long list of questions that society is going to have to answer when it comes to AI and one that's frankly likely to show up in the regulatory sphere faster than almost any others. Next up, reports recently had been that Mistral was out raising another round, with the rumors that I had seen seeing the valuation at around $5 billion, which of course is up from the $2 billion valuation that they raised at in December. But now it appears that they are close to raising a roughly $600 million round at a $6 billion valuation. The Wall Street Journal writes that General Catalyst and Lightspeed, who are existing investors in Mistral, are expected to be some of the biggest investors in this new round. We've discussed extensively on this show what a very specific game investing in Frontier Models is. The last time we talked about it was in the context of XAI's rumored $6 million raise at a $24 billion valuation, where we talked about how if you want to play in this space, you kind of have to be willing to pay what the market sets the price at. There really are just a very small handful of companies, including now Mistral, that are contenders at the state of the art, and for now, they're still commanding an incredible premium. I think that even as you see a wave of consolidation among AI startups, this handful of frontier model contenders is going to continue to be able to write pretty much whatever valuations they want. Now, over in the land of big tech, TikTok has announced that they are adding an AI-generated label to third-party content. TikTok had already been applying an AI-generated tag to content that had been made using TikTok's dedicated AI tools, but now they're applying that same label to content that comes in from other platforms. The Verge writes, TikTok will detect when images or videos are uploaded to its platform containing metadata tags indicating the presence of AI-generated content and comes through partnerships with Adobe's Content Authenticity Initiative, as well as the Coalition for Content Provenance and Authenticity. Now, it's worth noting that this still is all about metadata that is added to AI-generated content rather than a detection system that tries to guess when those metadata tags aren't there And so some people will, of course, have questions around how much impact this is actually likely to have. Still, I think most people would be in the camp of it's better than nothing. Although then again, in the US, who knows how long TikTok will even be here. Anyways, that is going to do it for today's AI Daily Brief headline edition. Next up, the main daily brief.